Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be changing a bushing onto the leaf springs of the Spooky Jeep here. If you're new here, welcome to my channel and don't forget to subscribe. Just be careful not to screw up your eye, as in, as in, as in this eye not, and this eye, both eyes. This eye and this eye. So I have a rough country lift onto the Spooky Jeep here and the bushings just did not last long at all. Part of the problem is my shackle angle and until I can fix it properly, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the bushing. This is just a cheap bushing I picked up at my local auto parts store. I'll go ahead and I'll put a link to some in the description below. But my suggestion would be if you wanted a nice fix to last a long time to get a good quality bushing. So this new bushing is actually pressed in and there's a couple of ways that you can go about doing it. You can do it on the vehicle or you can completely remove your leaf spring, put it in a hydraulic press and press your new bushing in. Me personally, I just feel like that's a lot of work for something I can do under the body. So what I am gonna be doing is using a ball joint press to help me press these in. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and jack this up and put the body on jack stands so we can pull our bolts for our leaf springs. So with the Jeep on jack stands and my rear axle supported, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my shocks as well as pull out the bolts that connect the leaf springs to the shackles. <sighs> Don't be like me. Make sure you plan ahead, hose everything down with WD-40 or a good penetrant the day before even. So as you can see, this bushing is shocked. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can pull this out. You can press it out, you can use an air hammer, or you can cut it out. I've seen where people have ran a hacksaw blade through here and cut down and also cut up, and it allowed enough relief in there to just pull it out. You can also use a hammer and a chisel to slowly knock it out. Just be careful not to screw up your eye. What I'm gonna do, is knock it out with an air hammer. Don't forget your ear protection. So with the old one out, I highly recommend you try to clean inside as best you can before you put the new one in. Now before we get started pressing our new one in, I'm gonna go ahead and slather some grease in here just to help the process, help everything slide in. Now in order to press the new one in, I'm gonna go ahead and rig up my ball joint press. Now once again, because my press is just a little bit small, I'm actually gonna be using a piece of steel, just something flat as my backing rather than using the big pieces that come with it. Just that way everything will fit nice and tight and everything will go in smoothly. And then once you're all set up, all you need to do is tighten it down until you're through the other side. And then that is it. Quick, simple, didn't even have to pull anything completely off the Jeep. If you like this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. You can check me out on TikTok at It's Project Venture, as well as Instagram at It's Project Venture. Thanks for watching. There was a giant spider on my camera right now. Is that how it's gonna be? I don't know if he survived the brake clean.